Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jonathan and in this video I want to talk about the newly released OnePlus 2 update which is actually Oxygen OS 2.01 I believe and I just want to talk about the bug fixes that they've done or the things that they haven't fixed. So let's start with the home button. The home button has actually gotten more responsive and it is a little bit more sensitive to touch although I still experience the lag but I did notice that if you disable the double tap to do any action that you want to do that it does speed up the process. But as far as accuracy goes, I wouldn't say that it's drastically improved, but it has gotten a little bit better since my original use with Oxygen OS 2.0. Now continuing on with the home button, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the fingerprint scanner. I haven't really noticed a huge improvement, but it has been slightly improved and it's a little bit more accurate. I still ran into some issues with it reading my fingerprint the first time around, but it has gotten a little bit better. Now, is it on point with the iPhone or Touch ID or the Galaxy S6? I don't believe so. And I don't think that uh, it will be on that level anytime soon, but they're on the right track to improving it. So hopefully after a few more updates, it will be a little bit more responsive. But as you can see, it's not the most responsive. It's not the most accurate, but it is getting better. So overall, the OS does seem much more fluid than when I first got my OnePlus 2. It's less laggy and it's just overall a lot smoother. So when it comes to performance of just the OS and just the actual phone performance, I do think that the update has improved it and it squashed some of the bugs that caused that lag or anything like that. So whenever I first got my OnePlus 2, whenever I would put it in dark mode, some of the third-party apps that I was using would actually kind of malfunction. And instead of being all dark whenever I would use the in-app capability of putting it in a black or dark mode, the bars would be black or dark and then the center would still be white. Well, with the release of the new Oxygen OS update, it has squashed that bug and now everything runs just fine. So OnePlus claims they've improved battery life with this new update, and at first I would definitely agree. However, after using it a few more days, I realized that's not really the case. Now at first I was getting anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes more on screen time than the previous version, but the other day I only got two hours and 53 minutes of screen on time, and it's still pretty bad. It's gonna take a lot more optimization and software updates to actually get the battery where it should be. So when it comes to the camera software, they really haven't improved too much, although I did notice a little bit faster shutter speed. So whenever you're snapping a photo, after you have focused now, it is a little bit speedier, but then again, this is in good lighting. And dim lighting, it's still pretty slow. And as far as I can tell, the autofocusing hasn't really changed a bit. So even though it does feature laser autofocus, to me, it's still pretty slow compared to phones like the Galaxy S6 or even the iPhone 6. I just don't find the laser autofocusing to be that fast at all. But when it comes to the actual software, no new features were added, no raw support, but the shutter speed has improved just a little bit when you're in good lighting. So of course, with this new update, they've also included the Stage Fright exploit, so you don't have to worry about any issues from that. Now, another thing I noticed whenever I had the original Oxygen OS 2.0 was the fact that whenever I looked at my photos in Google Photos, pinch to zoom did not necessarily work the greatest. It kind of lagged a little bit or it would even crash. They fixed that, so now you can pinch to zoom on all your photos on Google+, which is actually the ideal place to store your photos when using the OnePlus 2, and it works just fine. So if you guys haven't received this update over the air, I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you guys can do it manually. It's really easy. It only took me about five to 10 minutes and you don't even need a computer. You can do it all from your phone. So again, that link will be found in the description of this video. Make sure you guys go ahead and check it out because it will improve your experience on your OnePlus 2. Well guys, that pretty much does it for this video. If you guys are enjoying my coverage of the OnePlus 2, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media connections and leave me a comment and let me know what do you guys want out of the full review. And of course, as always guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.